Reminder that you are welcome to partake in refreshments anytime. Um, they're over there in the on the east end, and um, in a, at this time, if the graduates could congregate on the um, bleachers here to my right, we'll go ahead and get started here in a minute or so. be Students, graduates, alumni, media, friends, family, community members, faculty and staff, administration, members of the Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation Board of Education, Mr. Conley and Mr. Boggs, welcome to the 2018 Burkett Education Center graduation celebration. It is with extreme pleasure that we meet here today to honor the accomplishments of the fine group of students seated here before you. I would like to thank, um, I would like to ask all who are able to please rise at this time for the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning and thank you for your attendance here this morning for this joyous occasion. Today we have come to celebrate the fine accomplishments of the students who have been successful in obtaining their high school diplomas. The students that you see here today to be honored have worked extremely hard to get where they're at at this point. They've had to overcome many challenges, may they be personal obstacles or educational on their path from this transition from youth to adulthood. Whether the students were in tough situations because they were victims of things outside of their control or because of poor decisions that they made is irrelevant at this point. What matters is they made this moment happen, they buckled down and they made graduation possible. Today we're going to individually honor these students for their fine accomplishments, but before we do that we have a couple of presentations and speakers. To begin with, I have Mrs. Bope. Ms. Bope is our JAG teacher from Work One. She's a person that works very closely with the students in her program to be sure that they have the skills necessary to succeed in the workforce outside of school. In a sense, she's sort of the bridge between their high school experience and their adulthood work experience. Ms. Bope. much, Mr. Lopez. Thank you for everything you do for the students as well. As he indicated, my name is Ms. Spoke. I do the JAG, which is Jobs for America's Graduates. These kids have worked so hard to get where they are today. And part of my speech that I was going to discuss was a little bit the same as what Mr. Lopez was. Determination. The barriers that they've overcome. They have worked very hard. A lot of them have graduated early. They've worked hard to enter the workforce. Being part of Work One and the JAG program 
the kids are entering employment. Several have started CNA training. Others are interested in the CDL program, CNC program, all through work that Work One can assist and sponsor. Currently, JJ's taken class, very proud of him as well. Um, the JAG program also allows career development conferences. Ms. Autumn Buell, she's not a senior this year. She got second in the state for employability skills, but JAG offers those opportunities to each and every student. What I would like to do is hand out certificates for the senior, graduating seniors this year. And they are in alphabetical order. And when you guys come up here, I'd like everybody to stand or stay up here until the whole group's here. So we'll start with Miss Kyla. Kyla Bartley, I apologize. John Holmes, JJ. Ms. Shelby Howard. Brianna Mappin, and Brianna's not here today, but she's also earned the certificate as well and is graduating. Sierra Oaks. Clayton P. And I told him I would just say Clayton P. because I butcher his name to this day. Thank you. Miranda Morrison. Jason Schaefer. Congratulations. And Miss Shelby Smith. Congratulations. And I'm going to step back, and if you guys would all give them another round of applause, these guys deserve it. And as a small token of appreciation, I've got them all bracelets. I'm going to have them picked with different ones for mud love for the completion. And so it's kind of funny that Ms. And Mr. Lukens didn't know about it. For the mud love, it, they all say determination. So it's kind of unique. That's what you brought it up. Because these kids, they are determined. They've got the grit. They've got through it, through the, the barriers, everything they've overcome. So thank you guys very much. Of course. And that's what I have for you guys for today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bope and all of our JAG students for your outstanding work. Um, JAG's a program that not only helps students while they're in school, but also can help students financially once they're out of school. So I encourage all underclassmen to highly consider being in that program next year. Um, next we have Mr. Kreska. Mr. Kreska would like to say a few words. Mr. Kreska is new to us this year. He is our assistant principal at Tippecanoe Valley High School and also the program director here at the alternative program at Burkett. He's had a huge influence over our students and oversees and sets the direction of the entire program. He's extremely kind-hearted and caring and he's shown a lot of creativity and an attitude that makes school and learning fun for the students and staff both. 
His presence is strong at Burkitt, and students have a respect for him that's very obvious. Mr. Kreska. Thanks, Mr. Lukens, all those kind words. It was very nice of you. Uh, so, but good morning, uh, students, family, uh, friends, and most importantly, graduates of uh, Burkitt Educational Center. So, uh, you know, we're here at the 15th graduation ceremony at Burkitt. I think that's just really special. Uh, and, and I really want to thank, too, before we get too far, uh, Mr. Lukens, Ms. Shrove, uh, and uh, Ms. Chambaugh, uh, Mrs. Kimball and all the staff here at Burkitt that make this possible for students. Uh, students, I, I definitely know you're appreciative of them, so I challenge you to uh, make sure they know that today uh, on your way out. So uh, as Mr. Lukens uh, mentioned, uh, you know, I see many new faces, so I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Brandon Kreska, as you mentioned, the assistant principal and the new program director here at Burkitt. Uh, this graduation uh, is special for everyone, but for me uh, as well, as it's my first uh, graduation here. And uh, it's the first time I'm able to share in this great celebration and be a part of uh, the special day for everyone. Uh, and I'm also attending my first event in the historic Burkitt Gym, which uh, Mr. Lukens mentioned is going on 100 years. Is that right? That's amazing. So, so uh, I know this gym has a lot of tradition. And uh, the one thing I'm, I'm really excited about today is to, uh, and I think the thing that's really special is we get to add to the legacy here today uh, at Burkitt Educational Center. Together, we get to celebrate the graduation of 22 students. Um, and, and I think that's just, that's really great. Uh, everyone in this room is, is so very proud of these, these students over here. Uh, admittedly, uh, coming in halfway through, some I don't even know, but we are just so, so proud of you. Uh, and, um, you know, we all know the road was not easy. And I know Mr. Lukens is going to talk a lot about that. Um, you know, that is, that's definitely for sure. I think we can all agree there were times we were, we were a little worried about these kids uh, and wh whether they could do it. And, uh, and guys, I'm, I'm happy to look over at you and, uh, and uh, see that you have, okay? You guys did it. You should be so proud of yourself and, and for, today is for you. So congratulations, uh, graduates of uh, Burkitt Educational Center 2018. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kreska. Um, the students you are about to meet attended Burkett Educational Center are here, were here for a variety of reasons. The main reasons for attending our school, as defined by the State of Indiana Department of Education, include being behind on their credits, needing more hours to work or support themselves financially, having difficulty with the traditional learning style, uh, pregnant with a dependent, and having disciplinary problems at the parent school. Secondary reasons and many reasons that you'll hear about students attend are needing specific tutoring in certain classes, not liking dramatic aspects of the bigger high school life, um, personal health issues, um, things like that. Any, all these things came together to make the chore of graduation uh, much more difficult for these students than some of the other students have to face. Although the, the traditional high school is a wonderful facility, with very caring faculty and staff, it's simply not possible to meet all the needs of the wide range that we have here today. For these reasons, 15 years ago, the administration and Board of Education established our, our alternative school at Burkitt. Using a different approach to education, many of the students who had fallen behind are now able to achieve and excel in the environment. To this date, we have played a role in having 327 students graduate from high school through Burkett Education Center, um, who otherwise would not have been able to do so. The class of 2018 of Burkett Education Center is one of distinct achievement and accomplishment. This school year, we graduate 22 students. The group is one that holds a lot of promise for the future. Some of the demographics of our class, we had 12 students who rode the bus, Two students had siblings who had previously graduated from Burkitt. Six students were the first in their immediate family to graduate. Eighteen students earned their core 40 diplomas. Seven were parents or expect to be parents. Nine <clears throat> had been on probation at different times. Sixteen students held jobs while in school. Two students lived on their own and had to self-support themselves financially. 
Students here had achieved over 280 APEX courses. They mastered 1,682 units of study. They spent 26,858 minutes working with myself, but more especially Mrs. Shroff individually on things that they didn't understand or needed extra help with. They also spent 325,622 minutes working on their APEX work on their own. And we have 22 high school graduates. At this time, I will call up the graduates individually and talk about their educational path and what they've accomplished. Kyla Lee Bartley. <clears throat> Kyla entered Burkett back in the January of 2015, what was her sophomore year of school. At the time she came to Burkett, Kyla had struggled in just about every way at the high school. She was nearly a year behind on her credits, she only had nine, and she had amassed a grade point average of a 1.1 on a 12 point scale. Her attendance was weak and she considered dropping out of school due to a lack of interest and motivation. Instead of doing this, she gave Burkett a chance. She started off at Burkett and it took her a while to get things going in a strong direction. But one significant change was that she felt more at home and was able to have a support network of friends. This led to her gradually increasing her attendance rating. Little by little, her social skills began to improve and this was reflected in how she was able to earn credits. At the end of her junior year, she was up to 22 credits and had grown a great deal in self-confidence. As proud as we were of Kyla for her gains, it was her senior year that she really took off. During this year, she was able to earn 17 credits, totaling up to 39 towards graduation. She was very disappointed that she did not finish with her class, but she used that disappointment to fuel a strong finish this year. She has grown tremendously as a person, where before she would have given up more easily. Kyla finished her time at Burkett with some very impressive stats. She mastered 186 units of study, spent 6,700 minutes working one-on-one -on -one with either Mrs. Shroff or myself, and she spent over 42,000 minutes working on Apex on her own. This is a school record for all the years that I've kept track of things. Um, furthermore, she improved her grade point average from a D- minus to a C+. Plus. As a member of the family at Burkett, Kyla was a great leader. She was always positive and encouraged others. She was responsible and would often help steer students in a positive direction. She was always upbeat and happy, and she was highly respected by her classmates. Kyla has a great amount of artistic talent as well, and she often made the class cards that we would send out to the community. She's a key member of the JAG class where she learned workplace skills as you've already heard about. Her learning there in this field helped her to attain and maintain associate position at the Dollar General store in Mentone. Now that Kyla has finished with school, she would like to get a full-time job in the industrial field. She looks forward to starting her own family someday and is currently engaged to her fiance, Jacob. With her positive attitude, hard work and determination, there's truly no limit to what she can accomplish. Kyla Lee Bartley. <laughs> Lillian K. Bowers. Lily came to Burkett back in October of this year as a student who had lost interest in school. She'd always been very capable academically, but she lost her motivation to go on and even told me that she had given serious thought to dropping out. Rather than doing this, she gave Burkett a chance. Once she was able to get used to things, Lily began to flourish. She quickly became a student <clears throat> who regularly became what we call a superstar, a student who earned three or more units in a week and went above and beyond expectations for um, achievement. Lily proved herself as extremely capable and usually very much a bright point in the day of the Burkett life. She loved to be social in school and would often engage others in discussion. 
albeit it wasn't always academic in nature. <laughs> Lily was a hard worker, though, on her classes, and she was extremely driven to get completed. Although she liked <clears throat> Burkett as a close-knit group, it was still a struggle for her to come each and every day. She had an internal battle that made it difficult to do what she needed to to be able to attend school. But here she is before you, a comp graduate, a graduate. Today, or outside of school, Lily is a bit of a social butterfly. She was a varsity cheerleader at Tippecanoe Valley High School, where she would travel to games in the spring and uh, so fall, in the fall and spring. During cheer, she met many of her friends and had a lot of fun. She spent time with, she loves to spend time with friends and family. I can remember her back when she was just a small baby, as I have known her family for many years. And she was a girl you always saw smiling and having fun. She was a member of Fulton County 4-H growing up. Down the road, Lily has a very bright future. Uh, she found out news that she's expecting a baby in November. She's very busy getting ready for that big moment as it approaches. She is currently planning on attending college and, it would, and would like to become a nurse down the road. Lily has a real personality qualities that would take her very far in the nursing field. She genuinely cares about those she is around and wants to see other people happy. With her caring heart and great ability, I think she can accomplish anything she puts her mind to. Lillian K. Bowers. Thomas Brown France the third. <laughs> Tommy came to Burkett back in the middle of February of this year. He was a senior close to being a high school graduate. Tommy only had a few classes to complete in order to make this make it to this moment. He came to Burkett in lieu of an expulsion for a bad decision he made at school. Rather than losing his chance for graduation, he was given a second chance to come here. Upon his arrival at the new school, two things became uh, crystal clear. First off, Tommy showed that he was a hard worker and highly intelligent young man. Secondly, he also displayed that he has a very testing side to his personality. Concerning the former, Tommy would impress the staff with his quick wittedness and interesting thought process. He was very thorough in his study of apex tests and at times enjoyed learning so much that he had to be reminded of the pace he needed to set in order to graduate on time. Tommy impressed other classmates and staff with his depth of knowledge and how he could tie what he was learning into the world as a whole. Concerning the latter, Tommy was a student that tended to seek negative attention from those around him. He saw himself as a student who liked to push the envelope in terms of what he could get away with. <clears throat> Considering that he was on thin ice to begin with, he was close to crossing the line a few times, but he managed to keep from going over the line, and here he stands before you today as a graduate. Although Tommy wasn't always perfect, he made a huge impact at Burkett. Many of the students looked up to him for advice and guidance. Tommy was always the first to offer help to a classmate who needed it. One student told me a story of how Tommy was there to stand up for him at a new job when the boss thought he was not doing what was asked to him. He, Tommy also had a way to know when to turn off his ornery side and to buckle down at the task at hand. One of the things that I appreciate about Tommy is his creativity. He would share some ideas that he had and they're rather brilliant. For a while Tommy was working on plans of building a giant crossbow made out of truck leaf springs. Tommy was always capturing the attention of his classmates at break time telling stories and dreaming of what he could do for fun or achievement. Outside of school, Tommy also keeps busy. When he is not working on a project, he is working at McDonald's in Rochester. Down the road of life, he is uncertain what path he wants to take, as many new graduates are. One thing, though, he is certain of, he'd like to work at a different place down the road. Whatever he decides to do, Tommy has the ability to be highly successful thanks to his intelligence, work ethics, and creativity. Thomas Brown France III.
Sabrina Hyman with them. John Richard Holmes, Jr. <laughs> JJ, as he's affectionately called, came to Burkett at the beginning of last year. Um, he was a year behind on his work and struggled to pass classes at the high school. He had struggled with attendance due to being bullied, and his mother thought that a smaller Burkett environment would benefit him greatly. Missing a lot of school was a big reason why he struggled to pass his classes. Adding to the problem was the fact that JJ doesn't like to be very vocal um, with his language. This hindered his participation and group work in class. JJ's sister, Skylin, had attended Burkett here and found much success, and JJ decided to follow in her footsteps. Having a positive attitude and outlook on school for the first time made a huge difference for JJ. He put his best foot forward and really started to make strides. All the teachers were amazed at the change in his work ethic and productivity. He loved online learning where he did not have to interact with classmates. Furthermore, being in a small tight-knit group helped him to develop close personal relationships, many of which he still has to this day. During JJ's junior year, he was able to get back on track with his classes and put himself into the position to be here today. His attendance improved, but still needed work. During his senior year, JJ was much improved on that front, where he boasted of a 97.3 attendance rating. This was a dramatic improvement over his sophomore year when he missed 34 school days. JJ continued to do well on his work and was able to finish all of his classes. This was a dream come true that he had feared was not going to happen early in his education. JJ was a great student while here at Burkett. He is very kind, soft-spoken, and caring. I have yet to see any student, or person for that matter, who disliked JJ. He's a very talented young man, and he boasts of being a 2018 pool tournament champion. <laughs> Outside of school, he keeps busy as well. He works for Teal's Restaurant for a long time, uh, doing the dishes. He's currently taking CNA classes through nurtures, etc and is excited to begin his career in the nursing field. With his caring demeanor and love for others, JJ will be the person who helps people through life's hardest moments. John Richard Holmes, Jr. Dawson Orville Honeycutt. Shelby Lynn Howard. <laughs> Shelby came to Burkett at the beginning of her junior year, also like JJ, from the high school. She wasn't behind on her credits, but had lost interest in school. As a result, she was having a lot of problems with her attendance. She missed close to 30 days of school her sophomore year, and during her junior year, she had missed seven days during the first month of August. Administration talk, <clears throat> had talked to her into giving Burkett a chance rather than quitting <coughs> school. She agreed to this opportunity when her mother convinced her that it was a good decision. She finally agreed to it and is thankful now that she has. At Burkett, it not, did not take long for Shelby to establish herself as a very capable student. She worked hard and made strong progress towards the 44 credits that she needed. During her junior year, she earned a total of 15 credits and was up to 39 by the end of the year. During her senior year, Shelby was able to work on her English that she had put off till last. She was able to finish the final few dreaded English courses this year so that she could stand here before you as a Core 40 diploma graduate. Although her English was difficult, the hardest part for her was being there for the family during the hard times. Shelby's mother had some serious health problems, and Shelby had to step up a lot at home. Despite her own fears, she helped the family through the hard times until her mother was up and going again. These were stressful times for a student trying to balance work, school, and her home duties. Shelby had many accomplishments at school. She's a fiery competitor and loves to win. 
She's usually in the hunt for championships and activities and loves to win at the Christmas competitions that we do. She was runner-up in the air hockey tournament a year ago. Although she, knew when it, although she knew when it was time to buckle down, she was a fun student and always looked for the best in people. One moment she will never forget in class is when she fell off of her ball that she used to sit on for balance. <laughs> Shelby was a member of the JAG program, as you've seen, and she served as class president during her junior year. One of the interesting things about Shelby is that she was born on the 1st of January in the year 2000. Outside of school, Shelby notes, <coughs> notes that she only has one hobby, and that's work. She has worked at Bourbon Street Pizza for a couple of years. She also works at, worked at Danco and is currently at Creighton Brothers. She's very proud of the fact that she has taken her CNA course as well and is going back to finish that at this time. She plans on going to Ivy Tech in the future to further her education to become an RN. Shelby's dream is to one day be a nurse practitioner. There is little doubt that Shelby should be the, a great asset to the community and workforce as she travels down life's path. Shelby Lynn Howard. Remington Maxwell LaFollette. Always the rebel, Remington comes up with his hat on. I think he's the first student we've had to do that. So, Remington entered Burkett back in early September of 2017. He had been expelled from Valley for an incident at the end of the 16-17 school year and came to Burkett in hopes of still being able to graduate. He was not behind on his credits, but needed a full 15 to graduate on time. As a student who was towards the top of his group academically, at TVHS, Remington ver did very well at Burkett academically. During his time here, he was able to master 101 units of study and was consistently one of the top unit earners in the classroom. He is an extremely likable person and has a great personality. Many of the students looked up to him and he has a real group of followers here at Burkett. During his time at Burkett, Remington went through a rough period though. He started to get in trouble at school and was given his mother a hard time at home. I was fearful that it might go so far as he would lose his spot at the program. One day Remington didn't show up for class. That was because he had been incarcerated for doing something illegal. This was the bottom for him and a harsh reality check. He was facing serious charges and needed to turn his life around. Remington was put on house arrest and given an ankle bracelet, but he was given a second chance by being able to attend school. The judicial system gave him the chance that he needed and Remington made the most of it. He, attended, he began to attend school every day consistently, improved his attitude and had a fresh outlook on life. As a result of his turnaround, Remington was able to complete all of his classes. At one point we thought he had finished, but as always we verify and triple check things, we found out he still needed a math class. Remington had taken an algebra course in junior high and the state no longer allowed that to count towards his graduation. So he needed to complete a final math course. It wasn't an easy one, it was called statistics and probability, um, but Remington was certainly able to do it. He has a great mind for math. He was able to fly through and finalize that final class to be here today. Remington appreciated the flexible scheduling and how he could work at his own place here at school. Outside of school, he has many interests and hobbies. He loves video games and hanging out with friends. He's been a worker at Pike Lumber Company as well. Now that he has finished school, he is all set to go at Lincoln Tech next year to study CNC operation. Mr. Howard, who's in attendance here today, is also a TVHS grad in the past, came to speak to the class, and Remington and him really liked the options that Lincoln Tech had to offer. Remington was able to take an aptitude test for Lincoln Tech and did very well on it. In fact, he earned a $1,000 scholarship. Mr. Howard said that he scored the second highest score since he'd been a recruiter at Lincoln Tech. There is very little doubt about the potential that Remington has. With his great personality and ability, he can really go far in this world. Remington Maxwell LaFollette.
Juan Alfonso Lopez. Brianna Rose Mappin. Sierra Renee Oaks. Sierra came to Burkett two years ago at the start of her junior year. She had struggled to pass some classes and needed a new learning style. Although she did well her freshman year, she was only able to pass seven out of the 14 classes her sophomore year, leaving her behind on her classes. Her inability to pass them was not due to her intelligence, but it was due to some other things. Sierra found herself constantly in the midst of drama and social conflicts. <laughs> She allowed these distractions to deter her from her academic success that she needed to find. Since she struggled so much to concentrate, she came to Burkett for a new, a new learning style. While at Burkett, Sierra established herself as a student who could do very well. She, she was able to have a lot of success because she could concentrate on her work better and listen to music while she worked. In a quiet environment, she flourished. During her junior year, she was able to earn all but a few credits needed for graduation. She did so well. Amazingly, she had mastered 93 units on the Apex Learning System in this one year. Sierra is a student that has always boasted of a very strong attendance. Her attendance rate this year is 98.5%, and last year she was 94%. Sierra was a strong leader in the classroom and the entire school building during her time at Burkett. She was a key member of Ms. Bope's JAG class and often helped to spark interesting conversations. She was never afraid to let people know her thoughts, whether they be right or wrong. Sierra is one to stand up for what she thought was right and did so in a vocal way. When asked, where do you see yourself 10 years from now, she amply replied, doing what I want, as this mantra fits her to a T. However, as Sierra matured through school, her attitude continued to improve, and she became much more agreeable and amiable. Outside of school, Sierra is very active in many ways. She's been a longtime employee at McDonald's in Warsaw. They pushed her to move into management there as well. She loves music and keeps up on all the modern musical trends. Her hobbies include reading, listening to music, and hairstyling. Now that she has finished with her diploma, Sierra is planning on going to cosmetology school. There she can professionalize one of her favorite pastimes, and down the road she may not ever have to work a day in her life because her vocation and her hobby will be one and the same. With her energy, spunk, and ability, she will no doubt be extremely successful. Sierra Renee Oaks. Miranda Salas Morrison. <laughs> Burkett has had the joy of having Miranda for the past two years in our school. She came to school behind on her credits and was expecting a child. She knew she would have to work extremely hard to accomplish her goal of graduation with all she had before her. Miranda was a quiet student who was very focused on her work. Her work ethics were outstanding, and she did everything imaginable to get ahead. She was consistently one of our strongest students week in and week out. Miranda was a positive student who always got along with everyone in the class. Once baby Miguel was born, Miranda had faced some hard times with family. This left her upset, and she struggled to stay on track for a while. There was a time when I noticed when I was very worried about her dropping out altogether due to stresses. Miranda, though, showed great endurance and support she felt from loved ones was greatly appreciated and needed to overcome these problems. Once she was through the hardest of times, Miranda exploded in terms of her productivity. She credits the strong, <clears throat> the strong desire to do well to, in order to set a good example for her son, and he is her inspiration. During the second half of her junior year, she amassed an amazing 13 credits and finished all of her coursework in the <clears throat> that she had started in the first semester of the year. This allowed her to have time to pursue work 
and spend more time with Miguel and her family. During this time, she has been employed as Zimmer as an inspector. She is currently not working, but plans on getting back into the workforce after all the hustle and bustle of graduation has ended. She has plans on attending Ivy Tech in her spare time to pursue a potential nursing degree. She would love to own her own thrift store down the road as well. Other than work, Miranda loves to spend time raising Miguel, spending time with Pablo, watching movies and coloring. She would love to travel the world someday as well. Miranda admits that continuing and finishing high school as a teen mom has not been for the faint of heart. It took courage, determination, and a positive attitude in order to make this happen. It was difficult for her, darling, it was difficult for her to leave her darling son each day as she went off to learn. But Miranda never complained and always looked to the brighter side of things. She, is, she has such a great work ethic and a great attitude that I know that not only will she be a great mother, but a great member of our community. We should all be extremely proud of all that Miranda has achieved. Miranda Salas Morrison. Katrina Sue Newsom. <laughs> Katrina was a student who didn't have to spend a lot of time at Burkett, actually. She started her Apex courses at Valley earlier in the year during the first semester and needed to simply finish them up in order to fully obtain early graduation with her Core 40 diploma. She had set the goal for early graduation and was very determined to see it through. Once here, Katrina was able to finish her class, classes and move on to the next step in life. During her life, Katrina has been through some hard times with family and currently lives with her Aunt Pearl. As a student, Katrina always had a positive attitude to maintain an ornery side as well. She was always the one that knew what was going on behind the scenes in the school. Outside of school, she works extremely hard at Kentucky Fried Chicken in Warsaw, and she's getting ahead financially because of that. Now that she has graduated, Katrina has some big plans for the future. She is taking CNA classes currently at Nurses Etc. in Warsaw. This will give her a foot in the door towards her path of a nursing career. CNA licensing is very valuable, especially for college students who need to work odd hours. You see, they can fit your schedule to meet anything you need and work as many hours as you need to. Katrina has achieved the status as a 21st century scholar and plans on using that to her full advantage down the road. Her plans are to attend Ivy Tech College and become a registered nurse. With her work ethics, mental toughness, and great personality, she will go far with whatever she chooses. Katrina Sue Newsom. Michael Allen Pasica, Nicole Bell Poe, <laughs> Nikki has the distinction of being one of our most recent students to graduate, finishing up on May 8th. She's been an incredible person here at Burkett, and I take great pride in sharing her story with you. She moved to Valley from North Carolina with her twin sister, Abby, back in 2016. During that move, she only had five credits earned, and soon she became a student at Burkett for a lot of reasons. She had a history of problems ranging from poor attendance, academic struggles, behavior trouble, family trouble, and even health issues with her heart. Needless to say, Nikki had a, needed a place where she could develop into her full potential and help to soften some of the problems that she had going on in life. Although it took a while for her to turn around her attendance, Nikki was a hard worker from the very start. She had a determined attitude to succeed and worked every day to make that happen. Her attitude was pretty good and she had some moments of conflict with other students though. Her hard work paid off academically 
as she went from 5 to 19 credits her junior year. In her senior year, she went from 28 to 44 credits to stand here before you today. Many times, she was a classroom superstar and became a leader in the classroom. She was so respected by the students that she was voted to our school council. Adding to her motivation was the fact that she had become pregnant going into this school year. Now she was not only working for herself, but also for her baby. Having a baby on the way was not always easy for Nikki and her fiance Austin. Trying to juggle all the appointments and making up the credits needed for graduation isn't an easy task, and it was further complicated by the challenges of being so young. Nikki handled all this like a star, working even harder each time she could. Her living situation was difficult during her pregnancy, and she had to overcome many obstacles. For some time, she was more or less homeless, and there seemed to be no consistent living space. She went from her mom's friend's house to another house, and now she lives near Manchester with family. Living outside the district meant she was at the mercy of people bringing her to school. That was kind of hard when her fiance Austin was working or the car was broken. In the middle of the march, the world met her baby, Nova. Nikki and Austin cherished this moment in their lives, but as far as school goes, it brought another challenge. With him working, she had no one to watch the baby so she could finish her final Algebra II credit and graduate. She had worked so very hard to get to this point, and she only needed half of a credit to finish up. She wanted to bring Nova to school with her, but that just isn't possible. After much thought and consideration, Mr. Kripe and Mr. Kreska gave Nikki a computer where she could work at any hour of the day as long as she had internet. This helped Nikki a great deal. However, as she was finishing up a final class, she was having difficulty. Over the past couple years, Nikki and Mrs. Strofe had become very close and worked, <clears throat> Mrs. Strofe had worked hard to provide Nikki the emotional support that she needed. Mrs. Strofe, who Nikki said was like a mother to her, had told her she could come to the house and get help anytime she needed it, even if it wasn't dirt, even after school hours. Nikki and Nova did that one night, and Mr. Ed Strofe helped her with her math, and they all enjoyed some of Mrs. Strofe's lasagna. <laughs> this helped propel Nikki over the final hurdle she needed to clear for graduation. Now that Nikki's graduated with her Core 40 diploma, she would like to get a good job and help build a future for Austin and Nova. She is considering going to Ivy Tech for further training in whatever field she chooses. Whatever Nikki chooses to do down the road, Nikki will be a treasured asset for a company. We are all proud of her hard work here at Burka. Nicole Bell Poe. Clayton Michael Prezwoznik. Clayton came to Burkett for the second half of this year, his senior year. He had struggled with his attendance and his credits for the first semester at Valley and needed a new change. Clayton had been in a bad car accident earlier that had caused him a lot of difficulty in school. The accident had left him with memory loss, anxiety, and massive headaches at times. These symptoms made it nearly impossible to keep up at the high school on his work, and the more school he missed, the further behind he became. The further behind he became, the more uh, stress he felt, and as a result, his headaches continued to get worse and worse. Fortunately, Clay Clayton had always been ahead on credits, so he only needed a few classes to finish when he came to Burkett. Upon arrival, Clayton was able to do very well. He had to miss school some for headaches, but when he missed, he didn't get further behind. He took his time and worked not to stress himself out too much. I reminded him each day that if he takes small steps, he will get much accomplished. Learning was happening, but it wasn't real fast. And at one point, Clayton began to miss school more and more. His attitude was getting a little worse, and he was having some trouble at home as well. After a few sit-down, heart-to-heart moment talks, Clayton began to right his ship. Instead of allowing the anxiety and pain to dominate, he began to take control, taking things 
one moment at a time. Clayton took each day step by step, and here he is, a success. Clayton has many talents and a bright future ahead. Seeing as he has the largest shoe size in Burkett history with a size 17, it was kind of difficult for him to take small steps. He's a very skilled mechanic and loves everything about fixing, tuning up, and rebuilding engines. Now that he has graduate, graduated, he is entering the workforce. Recently, he began his job at KGP. Later on, he is considering becoming a mechanic. With his ability and great outlook on life, Clayton can be a success at whatever he puts his mind to. Clayton Michael Prezwoznik. Lathan Allen Spencer. Jason Anthony Schaefer, Jr. We had the great pleasure of having Jason during the first semester of the school year and some into this semester. Jason entered Burkett as a student who got into some trouble at the high school for a bad decision. Needless to say, he turned lemons into lemonade. Jason was a student who stood out in so many ways here at Burkett. To begin with, he had perfect attendance during his entire time here. <coughs> Excuse me. He also had not even one single incident of misbehavior, however slight it may have been. Jason was a student that you could always count on to be very respectful and kind. He would take time out of the day to talk about how life was going and let everyone know that he cared about them. Furthermore, Jason was a very hard worker and focused on his academic achievements. He was a patient, steady worker that didn't hurry, but focused on the task at hand. During his time at Burkett, he went above and beyond the minimal standard each and every week and qualified as a superstar every week that he was in attendance. Although he enjoyed the tasty treats that he would get for this, it was simply his personality to do well at whatever he put his mind to. Jason, as you know, was a member of our JAG program and became a rock solid member of that group. Even after he graduated, he never missed a class and came every Tuesday and Wednesday to continue to learn and to be part of the team. Jason has many friendships that he developed due to his caring nature. Outside of school, he enjoys spending time with friends, playing video games, watching movies. Jason has some truly great plans for the future. He is planning on attending IPFW in the fall. He is planning to study to become a radiation therapist. Currently, he is employed at JB Pallets. With all the wonderful things Jason has to offer the world, he will certainly be a young man that has many great things to come his way. Jason Anthony Schaefer, Jr. <laughs> Hayden Riley Smith. Hayden came to Burkett for the second half of this year, his senior year. He was struggling with attendance and was falling further and further behind in classes that he needed it to pass in order to stand here today. Due to some poor decisions that he made, he found himself more or less homeless and living with friends. He needed a fresh start and Burkett was able to provide that. Hayden started off doing well on his classes. They were difficult for him, but he credits Mrs. Strope for her help. Despite the difficulties he had, he was making progress when all of a sudden things took a turn for the worse. Hayden came to me one day and told me about a situation that he was involved in. Rather than trying to hide from it, he did the responsible thing. <clears throat> he called the police and had told them what had happened. Hayden was eventually arrested and missed a couple of weeks of school due to this. Everyone was worried that he would not be able to return or even to graduate eventually. But he was released, and he has been a hard worker ever since. Hayden began to follow the rules at home and made amends with his family and returned home. With a sound home life, he was able to finish the work he needed and earn his diploma. 
Now that Hayden has completed all of his credits, he has some amazing plans for the future. He is enrolled to attend Lincoln Tech this fall in Indianapolis. While there, Hayden is going to study diesel mechanics, a passion that he has had for quite some time. Hayden sees himself employed in this field and doing mechanical work. He's unsure if he wants to get into industrial, agricultural, or another field, but there is little doubt that he will put his best effort in and be extremely successful in this field. Hayden Riley Smith. Shelby Lynn Smith. If you want to hear about a student who believes in never giving up, I'm proud to in introduce Shelby Smith. Shelby entered Burkett all the way back at the beginning of what was supposed to be her senior year back in August of 2015. She was more than a full year behind on her credits and had struggled a lot. During what was supposed to be her senior year, she impressed the staff with how intelligent she was and how much she was able to accomplish. Unfortunately, though, her attendance was very horrible, and she could not make the progress that she needed to catch up on her work. During this year, she had missed an unbelievable 82 days out of 127 with a 35% rating. As a result, she was only able to gain just a few credits for the year. After several meetings and attempts to get her things turned around for Shelby, she decided to drop out of school back in January of 2016. She began her working life and found limited success there. As one might guess, she ran into one dead-end road after another without the dipl diploma to, to support her credentials. When this school year rolled around, her sister and brother had told me Shelby wanted to come back to school after a year and a half out. This was great news, and we knew she had the ability to do very well, but we wondered if she would be committed like she needed to be. Shelby had explained to us the reason she had dropped out and missed so much school the year before was that her boyfriend had been very controlling and would not allow her to come to school many days for fear she would meet a new boyfriend. When he was sent to jail for criminal activity, she saw this as her chance to get a fresh start on life. She loved school and wanted to prove to everyone that she could graduate. Although it wasn't easy for a student to come back at an older age, Shelby was very thankful for the chance. Administration decided to give her this chance and Shelby certainly made the most of it. While back at school, Shelby was an absolute top-notch student. She was very frequently on her weekly superstar list and was always extremely well behaved. Despite only having 28 credits on her, upon her return, she benefited greatly from the online learning in that it had saved all the work that she had previously done so that she didn't have to completely restart those classes. Her attendance was very strong, a total 180 degree turnaround from before. All these things worked together to benefit Shelby and allowed her to stand here before you for this extremely proud moment. Now that Shelby has finished, she is undecided about her future. She is considering college but also wants to work. Having her diploma will open doors that were once closed to her professionally. Although it wasn't a smooth road, Shelby is the first person in her family to graduate from high school. She has set the standard for her younger sister and family to come. With her amazing ability and determination, Shelby will be very successful down the road of life. Shelby Lynn Smith. Cynthia Tlax Calteca. <laughs> Although we didn't have Cynthia very much here at Burkett, it didn't take long to see her as a student bound for success. Cynthia came to Burkett at the beginning of this year due to the birth of her baby on the way. She didn't have very long before her baby was going to be born and she only had one class that she needed in order to earn her four di core 40 diploma. She had worked extremely hard, taking full loads of classes during the summer sessions. 
She earned a total of four credits during that summer session to put her in such a good position. She worked extremely hard and was able to finish her class prior to the birth of her baby girl, Adriana. Now that Adriana has been born, she has become the center of life for Cynthia. The two of them live in Goshen with Cynthia's boyfriend. In the future, Cynthia plans on joining the workforce. She is uncertain about what she wants to do, but with her great work ethics and positive attitudes, she will no doubt be a, the very successful role model that Adriana needs growing up. Cynthia Tlax Calteca. <laughs> Faculty and staff, along with the student body and graduating class of 2018, would like to thank each and every one of you for your attendance here this morning. But before we conclude, we have one final presentation. Uh, could Mr. Boggs, Superintendent of Schools, please come forward to join us on the stage? As many of you probably know, Mr. Boggs is retiring from education after 40 years of service. During this time, he has been in, had the role of teacher, principal, assistant superintendent, and superintendent here at Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation. It is an understatement to say, at the least, to say Mr. Bogg has greatly influenced the entire school corporation. I would like to share some of the influence that I have seen that Mr. Boggs has had on Burkett Educational Center through the years. Mr. Boggs has been the strongest supporter of Burkett Educational Center throughout. He has shown support on two distinct levels. To begin with, he supported Burkett from the supervisor's position. He believed in the vision of the program and truly believes that no student need to be left behind in the world of education. It has been said that one can judge the character of an organization by how, how well it treats its most vulnerable. Mr. Boggs has always treated Burkett Alternative Learning Program with the utmost consideration. We have a wonderful facility to house our alternative program with plenty of space for students to succeed. And we even have this historic gymnasium. Mr. Boggs oversaw a huge renovation project at Burkett featuring heating and air conditioning systems. We're very grateful for those systems, especially the air conditioning because we did not have it prior to 2009. Mr. Boggs has been an integral part of the alternative Education Committee that meets once a month to discuss a wide range of topics concerning Burkett and how to make it the best that it can be. Mr. Boggs has always fully staffed the alternative program with the staff necessary to, to provide the support needed to help students graduate. In a world of education where cutbacks are the norm, it takes courage and faith to use what limited resources the school corporation has on the program that we have here at Burkett, and we thank Mr. Boggs for this. The second way that Mr. Boggs has shaped Burkett Educational Center and fostered success is through a much more personal level. Mr. Boggs has always taken a personal interest to the students of Burkett. He has sent many handwritten notes to students that were great inspirations to them. He has always asked who is doing well and encouraged those who were not. He has taken his precious time to visit often and to get to know the students. This may seem normal, but with someone in such a high position, with such a busy schedule, I would call this extraordinary. Mr. Boggs has gone out of his way to make faculty and staff realize the importance of their position and also to let them know that they matter to him as a person. Mr. Boggs would often bring his personal aluminum cans in for our recycling program to help us pay for special events. He has never missed one of our big events, whether it be the chili cook-off, Thanksgiving dinner, or graduation celebration. And his attendance was meaningful and symbolic of the support that we have from him here. Furthermore, as a man of faith, Mr. Boggs <coughs> would, make, would include the school and its staff and students in his prayers, making an unimaginable impact. Needless to say, Mr. Boggs has always gone above and beyond the call of duty in his love and support of this program. On a personal note, I have had the good fortune of knowing Mr. Boggs since I was five years old. He was my principal at Akron Elementary School, 
growing up. We spent nine years together from kindergarten through eighth grade. Back then, there was junior high was at Akron in Mentone. I was able to know Mr. Boggs as a superior during my 15-year educational experience up to this point. He has done a lot to shape who I've become and many others here at Tippecanoe Valley as well, and we are forever indebted to him for this. In honor of his outstanding support of Burke and Educational Center, the faculty and staff would like to present a gift to him and a card in a token of our appreciation. Also, and maybe more importantly, we would like to announce that Mr. Boggs' picture will hang on the wall of fame in the cafeteria with the class of 2018 for all posterity. The foundation of success for Birkin Educational Center rests upon the vision and support of administration. The greatest compliment for Mr. Boggs' work is knowing that without Mr. Boggs' efforts, many of the students who have graduated from Burkett would have otherwise dropped out of school altogether. To date, 327 students have graduated who have attended Burkett Educational Center over the last 15 years. Mr. Boggs has truly left his mark on the lives of the students of Burkett Educational Center for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for your attention and time here at the 2018 Burkett Educational Center graduation celebration. We ask that um, all seniors take their position over here on the um, <coughs> Northwest bleachers for group pictures. All are welcome to refreshments. Uh, special thank you to the ladies and men who put the refreshments together. They would love for you to eat them all, so please share, please take in those.